Hi everyone, it's Clyde Vibrant Soap, and I've been very busy, and then I got sick, and so all these things kind of interfered with my hope to have videos ready for you more often, but hopefully I'm back at it again. Um, you can see some of the things I've been up to on Instagram, because even though it was a little under the weather, I found that the warm weather outside um, let me go out for these nice walks, and I brought my camera with me. And these are the things that inspire me um, to make my soap designs, so hopefully I'll see you there on Instagram. I've also been doing a lot of other projects, some of which I will share with you when they come along. Um, so I've been busy with that. But, you know, it's actually spring is approaching too, so I've been thinking of the colors of spring, which are pastels. Basically, the colors mixed with some white will make a wide range of pastels. If you add just a little white, uh, you get a deeper color and a lot of white, a lighter pastel. So I'm going to show you how to pair pastels, keeping everything pastel, but using that range to still make some contrast happen. And let's see how that goes. So I'm not going to be needing the color wheel for this one, because what we're really talking about is the use of pastels. So the first pastel I'm going to be using is a pink. So basically red mixed with white. And it's going to be a pretty light pastel, meaning that I have more white in it. You have a wide range of how deep that pastel will get. But I noticed when I looked at some photos of Sweet Pea that each pastel was accompanied by a deeper version of that color. In other words, there's a deeper pink right alongside the lighter pink. And that's what makes them so pretty. So I'm going to combine the two pastels, a uh, lighter pastel and a deeper pastel. It's all about pairings, what you put right next to each other for these. Um, I'm going to only have one type of green and I'm making, mixing some as I speak. Was the sweet pea leaves are a little more of a yellow green. So there's my yellow green but I'm also going to add some white to make that more of a pastel. Getting just the right color I want. That's right there. So that's yellow, green, and white to make a pastel green with a little yellow in it. I'm also going to have a purple pastel. I'm being a little ambitious even knowing that my sweet pea fragrance tends to accelerate so I'm going to do everything I can to keep things as fluid as possible while I mix all those colors. Because I have one, two, three, four colors so far. I'm also going to have a blue. That's a little bit more on the teal side. Let me make that a little more blue. Something like that. So I'm also going to have a light teal or turquoise. And I think that's about it. One, two, three, four, five, six different colors. So I'm hoping I can get this all poured. I want to be able to swirl some inside that loaf. So it's also getting ready for spring. So let's see how this color turns out in the soap. Okay, so let's add the lye solution to the oils and milk and clay. Okay, I'm using a floral, so I really want to just get this to emulsification. 
I've used sweet pea before and it does accelerate. So I'm going to do everything I can to keep it pourable. I'm going to add my fragrance last also. So there's my purple. My deep pink. My blue. And just a little bit of these accent colors. A deeper pink. Aqua. And a nice light green. Okay, so I'm just going to partially blend this with this dip blender right now, starting with purple. Then the deep pink. Actually, that's my light pink. pink, really light green, and darker blue, and my aqua. Now let's see, I'm going to get everything ready, have my mold on the side here. Okay, so let's first do some in the pot swirls. There's my Pink. Put my fragrance into that. And I want to immediately get my accent color into that. Just pour it all in at once. Scrape that out. Use some for the top, give that a couple twirls, hold that aside, moving quickly here. The aqua is going to be mixed into both the purple and the blue. That looks so good together. Give my green and their spin. Let's give this a stir. Yep, it's getting hard already. Get this a stir. But now that everything's ready to go, we should be okay. Let's get this one in first. Let's plop it in. And the pink and red mixture, which is pretty liquid. The purple, that's actually the blue, and the aqua. Stir up my green. I'm also going to do a hanger swirl. This is behaving pretty well. It looks like springtime colors. That one's the stubborn one. So I think this will look nice, the combination of deeper colors and their pastel. That's the ploppy one, but I think that'll still be fine. I'm going to break that one up a little. And I really like the smell of sweet pea flowers and this 
fragrance oil. It smells just like it. It's a little subtle. Okay, my hanger tool. I'm gonna make some spins there, some spins in the middle, and some spins in the side. I'm just going to get this splattered on the top. Just really what I'm trying to do at this point in time is to make sure that all the colors are visible on the top once everything's in. And that turquoise or aqua really does pop. So if I'm really liking this blue, it's called Klein Blue from Nurture Soap. I think I'll go with my green because I want the red, reddish pink on top. And lastly this deeper pink. Well if that doesn't look like spring. Pound that down. And swirl the top. I'm going to go in small circles. I think that one deserves some glitter. And that's it. Let's hold it so that you can see that pretty well. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. So this is quite a vibrant soap. Let's see what this looks like cut. Okay, let's see how this looks inside. Take off a little piece of the end out first. It's really looking closely at photos of sweet peas and I noticed how the pinks had like deeper pinks within them and the lavender ones had deeper purple in it so I tried to do that. This almost has a texture to it too. Interesting. But I really like how that turned out. I was going to reserve some soap to make white. So this one has no white in it. But I think there's enough variation in the values or the darks and lights of the colors that uh, the white was not as important. I'm happy to say. I'm really like, liking this. Looks like a nice spring soap. The green was a little bit of an afterthought too, but I thought since the name says Sweet Pea, that it should have a peas-like color in it too. I like just a little touch of the teal that pops through there. If you look closely at the purplish sweet pea blossom. There is some teal in that color too. I really like the swirl that happened on that. This one has more of the deep pink in it. And that 
it surely has a lot more of the deep pink. Let me just cut the end off of this one. And this one has a lot more of the green coloration in it. So this is the cutting of Peas Blossom. And I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.